Hey Fear Minimalist, it's Sophia Lark of thefearminimalist.com, providing trauma recovery tools to help women of color heal their mother wound. Do you struggle with seeing yourself in a positive light, with managing difficult emotions, and forming healthy relationships? If you do, you may be suffering from attachment trauma. Keep watching to see if you recognize the signs. For the best trauma recovery tips, tools, and strategies, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload new content every single week. If you're new to my channel, I am a survivor of mother wound trauma, a licensed professional counselor, a certified clinical trauma professional, helping women of color heal their mother wound trauma and build resilience. So the mother wound is primarily an emotional psychological injury or trauma that is uh, rooted in attachment and where mothers pass down their behaviors, their attitudes, their beliefs, their ways of interacting with you and other people. So how th these beliefs center around how they should behave in relation to you. And, and many of these ways of operating are unconscious. So they've been passed down from one generation to the next with nobody checking and saying, hmm, something seems off about this. They just perpetuate themselves. And so your mom may not be aware that she has perpetuated this toxic cycle, especially if she provided, made sure that you had adequate food and clothing and shelter, educational, hygienic, and medical care. So when I speak about the mother wound primarily, I'm talking primarily about the emotional trauma that emerges from that wound where your mother consistently failed to provide emotional warmth, physical affection, a consistent attention and validation in those times of distress. This creates a insecure attachment system where the child develops self-protective strategies in order to survive. And when these traumas remain unhealed, they carry over into adulthood where this cycle just gets perpetuated where you're experiencing emotional instability, uh, negative self-image and problems in relationships. And so that wound gets continued. It gets passed down to future generations. So what are some of the signs that you may be suffering from a broken or insecure attachment system? One sign is that you have difficulty trusting other people or feeling safe around other people. There may be this lingering sense of, of impending doom or like something bad is going to happen because you're around a particular person or a group of people or in a, or a certain environment. So that can be a sign that you're, you're suffering from, from that attachment wound. An, another sign is having trouble forming healthy relationships and partnerships. You, you may just not get along with people in general, or there may be this, you do get along with them, but for a certain period of time because once they get to know the real you, then they won't like you. So that can play into you being able to trust people and then trust enough in the relationship so that you engage and find uh, a sense of, of health in, in that relationship. Another thing is that you may experience this consistent need to be wanted or validated. Why don't people just see me? Why don't people just hear me? Why don't they just understand me? And a lot of times what that indicates is that there is a need to heal those vulnerable parts that are still underdeveloped, that inner child that is still crying out uh, for somebody to hear them, to see them, to validate them. And then a need to revamp the mindset so that you come to reframe. It's not that People aren't seeing me, hearing me, and, and understanding me. It's that I have not found my tribe. And so that can um, also be, that can be the shift, but the, the sign is that you, you feel that, that tug of wanting to be validated, wanting to be wanted, that kind of thing. Another sign that you struggle with a broken attachment system is that you feel like doing the work to build relationships is not worth it or that if you do the work, it might backfire. So you just don't pursue the relationships. You may find yourself being lonely and isolated, craving that relationship, but you don't pursue it because you're scared of the outcome 
that may, that may come of it once you get the relationship. Another sign is that you fear there's going to be abandonment. Your, your friends or your family members are going to abandon you when you don't really have a reason to believe that. And this may have more to do with unresolved abandonment issues more than anything. There also might be a fear that you're not good enough to have the relationships that you want, either because of a mental block or a mindset issue, or even through mental illness, you may have come to believe over time that you're not worthy of a good relationship because you're not a good person. Somebody has convinced you those, those negative narratives have played over and over in your head for so long. You may have truly become convinced that I'm, I don't deserve, you know, a good person because I'm not really a good person myself. And again, it's going to take a shift in narrative and in mindset and that healing of that inner vulnerability to be able to get to a point to where you can reframe that and start living out the new narrative. Um, also, there can be a struggle. Another sign is a struggle with your emotions. So you struggle to deal with your emotions and you spend most of your time trying to avoid them because they're so painful and you have a hard time feeling what you feel without running away from that situation. And so that can be a sign that you need to learn how to stop, feel what you feel, allow those feelings to pass like clouds are passing through the sky, allow them to do that. You know, you can do that through mindfulness meditation. We'll talk a little bit about that in different types of uh, different videos, but that can be a way that you can start working on it. But, but suffice it to say that that could be one of the, one of the signs. So do you recognize any of these signs in your life and relationships? If you do, drop a comment below to let me know. So those are seven signs of a broken or insecure attachment system. And if you want to heal the broken parts of that system and resolve emotional trauma, be sure to download my free trauma recovery coaching primer to help you uncover and heal those disowned parts of yourself so that you can achieve wholeness. You can get that resource by clicking the link below. Be sure to join me on social media, on Instagram at Fear Minimalist and Facebook at Fear Minimalist, where you can carry on the conversation in more depth about healing the mother womb. Okay, well, that is it for today, guys. If you liked this video, hit the like button below, share with your friends, drop a comment to let me know your thoughts. What did you take away from this video that's gonna be helpful for you moving into the next week and hopefully for the rest of your life? I'd like to know just drop a comment and we can start that conversation. Last but not least, guys, be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you will always be in the know when I upload new content every single week. And remember that the sun is going to rise and shine bright tomorrow. The question is, are you going to rise with it and allow your best self to shine? I hope you do, and I'll see you next time. Bye.